Hi everyone, Rod the Tool Guy here with Aries 70016 Damage Fastener and Stud Extractor. This is one of our longtime fan favorites. It's easy to use and makes what would otherwise be a frustrating job of removing damaged studs or fasteners quick and painless. In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview on stud extraction and demonstration how to use it with a couple of different applications. If you find this video helpful, please let us know with a like down below and a subscribe for more videos like this. This is a tough tool. Solid metal construction feels heavy in the hand. It's manufactured with high grade heat treated alloy steel for maximum durability and a chrome finish for additional uh, rust protection. It's held together with a large spring clip, keeping the tool tight and protected. It comes in a nice package like this one here. It's compact design, it's great for reaching the tight places, yet stout enough to handle those bigger jobs. This tool is compatible with 3 8 inch drive ratchets or impact wrenches to easily remove damaged studs and bolts. The bolt extractor has a universal design that fits quarter inch to half inch studs. The spindle hex drive size is 15 16 outside flats. Hex on the body is 1 and 7 16 You can use an adjustable wrench on either or both areas. So let's see this in action. Loosen the teeth by turning the center spindle clockwise. You'll see the teeth inside the opening. Place the tool over the damaged stud and make sure it's centered over the stud. Start by turning the center spindle counterclockwise while holding the body of the tool stationary. Once you have it finger tight, take a large adjustable wrench and place it over the flats on the part of the body. Take your 3 8 ratchet and connect it to the 3 8 drive spindle or you can use a socket on the ratchet for some extra torque. Use the adjustable wrench to hold the body stationary while turning the ratchet counterclockwise. Once tight, remove the adjustable wrench. Now it's time to remove the stud. Put your counterclockwise pressure on the ratchet until the stud breaks loose and then continue to turn counterclockwise until the stud is out. The taper nose is handy during those times when you need to extract a bolt or stud from a recessed or low clearance space. In those situations, this tool will be a lifesaver. To release and remove the stud from your extractor, take your adjustable wrench again and connect to the body, and take the ratchet and connect to the spindle. Hold the body stationary while turning the spindle clockwise to release the teeth from the stud or fastener. So I've seen some people, they'll use the uh, tool to remove the stud by uh, working off the, the body here. They'll either use it in an adjustable wrench or a large socket, which is actually putting uh, clockwise tension, which is releasing some of the tension on the tool, uh, can cause it to slip on the stud. By using the 3 8 drive or the 15 16 inch hex, you're putting tightening force on the stud, which helps it grip and not slip off. So there's really no definitive answer. I can see where this will work, but uh, really by using the center spindle is the way you're supposed to do it. Don't be afraid of getting it too tight on the fastener. Once the fastener or stud is out of the engine, you'll be able to use the double wrench method to loosen the teeth and remove your fastener. Everyone knows you can use two nuts to pull out a stuck fastener. This is a cheap method that sometimes works. But there are some limitations. First, there needs to be good threads, which isn't always the case. Second, you need enough threads to fit two nuts on, otherwise you don't have enough to grip them. And third, because the nuts aren't designed to have so much torque applied to them, they can round off or strip. And now you have two stripped nuts stuck on the fastener with no way to get them off. Lastly, it won't work if the fasteners have a screw or bolt head, because uh, you can't get the nuts on to start with. There are traditional bolt extractors which make you guess the size of the damaged studs. You can end up stripping the screws or shaving metal off the studs without uh, budging the fastener. This extractor eliminates guesswork with its universal design by adjusting the clamping to the bolt. It will save hours of frustration on broken exhaust manifolds, oil filler plugs, rounded starter bolts, low grade bolts left in salt water or painted over bolts, or rusted tight bolts. If the stutter fastener is overly rusted or stuck, you should use some penetrating oil. Or if you don't have that, you can use some WD-40 spray like this and let it sit for 15 minutes for it to soak in. And you can blast it a couple of times if you need to. After that, the fastener should come right out. Now say the stud is a quarter inch, but it's deteriorated and rusty. It could be below the quarter inch. In this case, you may not be able to get a grip on the stud or because it's deteriorated, it could break off. It's just something to be cautious about. If your stud is slightly below a quarter inch, you can use a sleeve on it to get enough compression. A small section of copper tubing can do the job and you just crush it on the stud. 
Well, there you have it, folks. The Aries 70016 Damage Fastener and Stud Extractor. This heavy-duty damage bolt and stud extractor tool is a must-have for any mechanics toolbox. How do you extract damage fasteners and studs? Let us know in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notification. As always, thanks for watching and be safe out there.